Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you yet again how to properly rip, patch, and burn your Xbox 360 backups so you can do it on your own. Now, why am I making another video? I already showed you guys that video before. Um, I already had an old video series. But um, times have changed, as technology always does. There is a new disc format out, XGD3, that is short for Xbox Game Disc 3. Alright? And I'm going to show you the only way you can rip these games, but how to properly do it, and I'm going to make this tutorial as new friendly as possible. First off, what hardware you need. Unlike my previous video, you cannot just buy a cheap $10, $20 disk drive online and take it apart and hot swap. You cannot do this. And chances are, we've gotten so far into the Xbox scene, we're probably not going to set anything up like that. So for your XGD2 games, that works. For your XGD3 games, this my, my old videos will not work. Those are obsolete for XGD3 games. This is what you need. You need to take a Xbox 360 drive and flash it with an 800 firmware. I might make a video on that later. I'll have to think about it. But it's pretty simple to do if you know how to flash a drive. It's pretty much the same thing, except you don't have to worry about having the proper drive key. You cannot use a DVD drive like this, okay? You can't just take a regular DVD drive and take it apart. You cannot use a laptop drive, okay? You cannot use a Creon drive, alright? If you're using a Creon drive, it's really not good for anything anymore. Because if you don't know, a um, few years ago it was announced that Creon drives were actually ripping the games improperly at one point. So, if you have a Creon drive, you can't use this tutorial. If you have a regular disk drive like that, this doesn't work. You have, have, have to have a 800 firmware drive. That means you either need to take a Lidon drive or a BenQ drive from a 360 and flash it with the 800 firmware. The version 3 firmware. That's it. One, there's 1 1.6 and there's version 3. 1.6 works for XGD2. 3 works for XGD2 and XGD3. Now that we have that underway, we can begin. So I'm just going to open up my drive, and we're going to be ripping Gears 3. Alright. So you go ahead, you pop that in, and I'm going to show you what you need. Let's go to my 360 folder, and if it's working, this should pop up. The 800 firmware, all it does is it makes your uh, 360 disk drive compatible with a computer, so it should work like any other drive. Now, as you can see in your Xbox backup creator, I'm running that version. You're going to have your exe, and you need a day.bin file, okay? That is for all the AP 2.5 challenges you're going to run into. And there's one other thing, there's another way thing that you need to configure in case you're getting an error. I need to but I, that. The, but, um... For this, you are going to, can't really help with the air, because I'll be honest, um, I fixed the air before, and I don't remember what the air was. So, um, my advice to get your day.bin, Google it, that's what I did, just Google Xbox Backup Creator day.bin, and for the air, you can Google that, pretty simple. It's anything past XP, I think. Anyways, this is what we're going to do. You open up your Xbox Backup Creator, come over here, and as you can see, my bin queue is loaded up. Now you have to go up here, select your drive, and this might throw some people off. It's going to say DVD-ROM, all that. Now it's going to say something small, like 49 megabytes. That might throw you off. Don't worry, it will rip the game for you. Now as you can see, my day.bin file has loaded all those things. As long as this pops up and your day.bin file is there in the same folder, you're good to go. So all we do, we just do one click. Do complete backup and start. Now it's going to ask us where we want to save it. Let's go ahead and save it to our desktop as gears. And I'll call this gal3. So you hit save, and that's going to do everything for you. And the cool thing about Xbox Backup Creator is, remember in my previous videos where I was showing you all how to patch your games and all that? You don't need to do that. 
because all you do, you put your disc in Xbox Backup Creator, let it rip, and it will do all the work for you. It's really great. It's, it, it's, it's a wonderful program. So you don't have to take that extra step in patching it through ABGX. Because if you have the most up-to-date things, it will do all that for you. So you can just take this and burn it straight to a disc. Anyways, the hardest part, and as you can see, it got all the uh, challenge sectors out of it. Uh, now that we've done that, the hardest part is just waiting. So it's going to take me about 15 minutes to rip my disc. But um, I'll resume once it's done.